it's thought that the big nose of the male acts as a resonating chamber. In the vast world of primates, certain species stand out for their unique and sometimes bizarre characteristics. They are only found here in Colombia when I was born and raised. From monkeys with comically long noses to those that withstand sub-zero temperatures, this video delves into 15 of the weirdest monkey species you could ever encounter. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed, puzzled, and perhaps even amused as we explore these fascinating creatures. Number one, proboscis monkey. The proboscis monkey, native to the mangrove forests of Borneo, is instantly recognizable for its oversized, pendulous nose, a feature that has often made it the subject of both scientific curiosity and public amusement. While the pronounced nose is found in males and is thought to amplify their calls, attracting females and intimidating rival males, it's not the only thing that sets this species apart. These monkeys also have a unique digestive system that is closer to that of a cow than to other primates. Their stomachs contain chambers that help break down tough plant materials, and they often chew their cud. Adapted to a life both in trees and water, proboscis monkeys are excellent swimmers, a skill not commonly associated with primates. They have partially webbed feet and hands, which enable them to move through water efficiently, escaping predators or seeking food. This semi-aquatic lifestyle has shaped their social and feeding behaviors as well. They are known to consume a diet rich in leaves, seeds, and unripe fruits. But they also eat insects and occasionally small vertebrates. The proboscis monkey's social structure is somewhat unusual among primates. Males are known to lead harems, which consist of a single male and multiple females along with their offspring. These social groups then form larger bands that travel and feed together. However, these bands can be quite fluid, with individual monkeys shifting alliances and moving between groups. Number 2. Pygmy Marmoset The pygmy marmoset stands as one of the tiniest monkeys in the world, weighing in at just over 100 grams and measuring around 5 to 6 inches in length, not counting its tail. Native to the rainforests of the Amazon Basin in South America, this diminutive primate has captured the public's imagination with its almost otherworldly cuteness. But don't let its small size fool you. The pygmy marmoset is a marvel of adaptation and survival. Equipped with specialized incisors that are proportionally larger than those of other primates, the pygmy marmoset engages in a unique form of feeding called gumming. It uses its sharp teeth to puncture holes in tree bark to access the sap gum and resin underneath. This feeding technique not only provides them with a rich source of carbohydrates and nutrients, but also has a minimal impact on the trees, making it a sustainable form of nourishment. In terms of social structure, pygmy marmosets live in small groups, usually consisting of an adult pair and their offspring. Interestingly, it's often the males who take on the primary caregiving role, carrying the young on their backs and delivering them to the mother only for nursing. This division of labor allows the female to regain her strength more quickly post-birth and contributes to the overall survival of the family unit. Communication among pygmy marmosets is a complex affair, involving a range of vocalizations, body postures, and facial expressions. They are known for their high-pitched calls, which serve various functions such as alerting group members to danger or signaling the discovery of a new food source. These vocalizations are so high-pitched that they are sometimes inaudible to the human ear. Number 3. Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey The Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey, native to the mountainous forests of central and southwest China, boasts a striking appearance with its golden orange fur and distinctive upturned nose. Unlike many other primates that prefer warmer climates, this species has adapted remarkably well to cold weather, often enduring snow and freezing temperatures. Their thick fur not only provides insulation, but also serves as a status symbol within their social groups. The brighter the fur, the higher the monkey's standing. Socially, golden snub-nosed monkeys live in multi-level societies, a complex structure that includes families, clans, and bands. Within these groups, both males and females have their hierarchies. 
While one might assume that the unique snub nose is a result of environmental adaptation, it's largely a product of sexual selection. Females tend to favor males with more prominent snubbed noses, which are thought to indicate better genes. These monkeys are primarily folivorous, meaning their diet consists mainly of leaves. However, they also consume fruits, seeds, and small insects, making them opportunistic feeders. Their eating habits play a crucial role in seed dispersal, thus contributing to the health and diversity of their forest habitats. They've even been observed using their specialized, elongated fingers to extract insects from tree bark or to reach leaves and fruits that are otherwise hard to access. Vocalization is an important aspect of their social interaction. They emit different types of calls for various situations, such as warning against predators, signaling food sources, or maintaining group cohesion. Intriguingly, these vocalizations can vary between different populations, suggesting a form of cultural difference among separate groups of golden snub-nosed monkeys. Number 4. Cottontop Tamarin The Cottontop Tamarin, a small New World monkey native to Colombia, is a spectacle of nature with its shock of white hair that resembles a cotton ball, lending the species its name. These monkeys have an endearing appearance, but are also fascinating for their complex social and communicative behaviors. Measuring about the size of a squirrel, they weigh less than a pound, but make up for their small size with their vibrant personalities and intricate social structures. Living primarily in the tropical forests of northwestern Colombia, cotton-top tamarins are arboreal creatures, meaning they spend most of their lives in trees. They navigate the forest canopy with agility, jumping from branch to branch in search of food. Their diet is quite diverse, ranging from fruits and insects to small vertebrates. The variation in their diet allows them to adapt to different environmental conditions, although they are most comfortable in primary and secondary forests. Socially, these monkeys live in small family groups led by a dominant female and one or two males, along with their offspring. Unlike many other primates, where males lead the troop, the dominant female in a cotton-top tamarind group has the final say in most matters, including where to forage and when to move. This matriarchal structure is particularly interesting to primatologists and adds another layer of uniqueness to this already intriguing species. Cotton-top tamarinds have a rich vocal repertoire, comprising various types of calls that serve different functions. These range from predator warning calls to mating signals, and studies have suggested that they might have one of the most complex communication systems among New World monkeys. They are even capable of modifying their calls depending on the context, much like how human intonation can change the meaning of a word. Number 5. Japanese Macaque The Japanese macaque, commonly known as the snow monkey, resides in various parts of Japan, from subtropical lowlands to subalpine regions. What sets this primate apart from most others is its remarkable ability to thrive in a cold climate, with temperatures often dipping below freezing. These monkeys have become emblematic of winter landscapes in Japan, particularly for their habit of soaking in hot springs to keep warm, a behavior that has captivated both scientists and tourists alike. Covered in a thick coat of fur, the Japanese macaque is well suited to handle the cold. The fur not only provides insulation but also serves social functions. Grooming is a common social activity, strengthening bonds within the troop and helping to establish a social hierarchy. Unlike other primates that might find cold climates inhospitable, these macaques have turned the challenge into an opportunity, using the environment to their advantage in various ingenious ways. Social structures in Japanese macaque communities are matrilineal. Females remain in their natal groups for life, while males leave upon reaching maturity. A high-ranking female often has a better chance of reproductive success, and her offspring inherit her status. Males, on the other hand, must fight for the right to mate, and their social ranking can change dramatically over their lifetime, influenced by factors like age, size, and experience. Their diet is primarily vegetarian, consisting of fruits, leaves, and seeds, although they also consume insects, small animals, and even soil on occasion. 
The latter is thought to help them digest plant materials and may provide essential minerals. The macaques are also known for their problem-solving abilities and have been observed using tools, such as sticks, to extract food from difficult places. Number 6. Gelada The gelada, often called the bleeding heart monkey due to the distinctive patch of bare skin on its chest, is native to the Ethiopian highlands. Unlike many other primate species that dwell in trees, geladas are terrestrial, spending the majority of their time on the ground. They are the last surviving species of a once diverse group of grass-eating primates, which makes them particularly interesting to researchers studying primate evolution and ecology. One of the most striking aspects of galata life is their social structure. They live in complex societies organized into units that can range from small family groups to large aggregations of several hundred individuals. Within these units, females hold significant power and form the core social bonds. Male geladas often have to vie for the attention of females and can only join a unit if accepted by its female members. This is a stark contrast to many other primate species where males are typically dominant. Geladas are mainly herbivorous, feeding on grasses, herbs, and roots. Their diet is rich in fiber, and they have a specialized digestive system to extract nutrients from tough plant material. They use their sharp incisors to slice through grass, and their cheek pouches allow them to store food for later consumption. This adaptation lets them forage efficiently and minimize the time they spend exposed to predators. Communication is another fascinating aspect of galata behavior. They have a wide range of vocalizations, facial expressions, and gestures that they use to interact with each other. Researchers have identified various calls that serve different purposes, such as maintaining group cohesion or signaling alarm. The complexity of their communication system is often compared to that of more commonly studied primates like chimpanzees and bonobos. Number 7. Emperor Tamarin The Emperor Tamarin, named for its striking resemblance to the German Emperor Wilhelm II, thanks to its distinctive white mustache, is a small primate native to the Amazon rainforest. Inhabiting parts of Brazil, Peru, and Bolivia, this tamarind species captivates attention with its playful behavior and complex social structures. Although they are one of the smaller species of primates, weighing in at around 500 grams, their impact on their ecosystem and the intrigue they offer to primatologists are far from minor. Emperor tamarinds primarily dwell in the lower to middle canopy levels of the rainforest, where they forage for fruit, nectar, and insects. They have also been known to consume small vertebrates when the opportunity arises. Despite their small size, they are incredibly agile, using their long tails for balance as they leap through the trees. Their hands and feet are adapted for gripping branches, making them excellent climbers and jumpers, which helps them evade predators and traverse their intricate arboreal environment. Socially, emperor tamarins live in cooperative groups, often consisting of multiple males and females, along with their offspring. These groups usually range from four to about 15 individuals. Intriguingly, it's often the males who take on the role of caring for the young. They assist in carrying the infants on their backs and providing them with food, freeing up the females to forage and maintain their nutritional needs, especially during and after pregnancy. This cooperative childcare system is one of the many aspects that make their social structure particularly interesting to researchers. Communication among emperor tamarins involves a series of vocalizations and physical gestures. They possess a range of calls for different situations, such as warning against predators or signaling food discoveries. Their complex social interactions are thought to be facilitated by this varied communication toolkit, which is still the subject of ongoing study to fully understand its range and function. Number 8. Lesula. The Lesula, a relatively recently discovered species, was first described in 2012 and is native to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Its strikingly human-like eyes and face have made it a subject of fascination both within and outside the scientific community. Living in the remote forests of central Congo, the Lesula has managed to remain largely elusive, contributing to its late discovery and the subsequent intrigue surrounding its ecology and behavior. 
Physically, the Lesula bears a close resemblance to its closest relative, the owl-faced monkey, but its unique facial features set it apart. The Lesula has a lighter, almost golden mane contrasting with a dark face, giving it an appearance that's different from most other African monkeys. It has large, forward-facing eyes that give it a wide field of vision and perhaps contribute to its social interactions. In terms of diet, the Lesula is primarily frugivorous, feeding on a variety of fruits that abound in its forest habitat. However, its diet is known to be diverse, including leaves, flowers, and animal prey, such as insects and small vertebrates. This adaptability in feeding habits allows it to survive in its diverse and sometimes challenging environment. Its diet also means that it plays a role in seed dispersal, contributing to the ecology of its habitat in a significant way. Socially, the Lesula lives in small, close-knit groups consisting of one adult male, multiple adult females, and their offspring. The social dynamics within these groups are not yet fully understood, given the species' recent discovery and the difficulties in studying it in its remote habitat. However, preliminary observations suggest a complex social structure with intricate behaviors and interactions among group members. While vocalizations of the Lasula are still under study, they are known to emit a variety of calls and sounds, likely serving purposes ranging from maintaining group cohesion to warning of predators. Their vocal repertoire is thought to be complex, possibly serving multiple communicative needs within the social group. Number 9. Mandrill The mandrill, native to the rainforests of Central Africa, is a spectacle of vivid colors and dramatic features, most notably, the males of this species sport a kaleidoscope of blue, pink, and red hues on their faces and rear ends, making them one of the most colorful mammals on Earth. These colors are not just for show. They play a significant role in social interactions and mate selection. The brighter the colors, the higher the male's status within the group, giving him better access to food and mating opportunities. Mandrills are primarily ground dwellers but are also skilled climbers, they have strong, muscular bodies that allow them to traverse both forest floors and canopy with ease. Their diet is omnivorous, consisting of fruits, roots, and leaves, as well as insects and smaller animals. This dietary flexibility allows them to adapt to various environmental conditions, making them less susceptible to habitat changes compared to more specialized feeders. Socially, mandrills live in large groups known as hordes, which can contain hundreds of individuals. These hordes are often led by a single dominant male, who sires most of the offspring and exercises control over the group's activities. Females, on the other hand, establish their own hierarchies, which are generally matrilineal. Young males leave the horde upon reaching sexual maturity, either living solitarily or forming small all-male groups, until they can challenge and take over an existing horde. One of the most fascinating aspects of mandrill society is their complex system of communication. They utilize a wide range of vocalizations, facial expressions, and postures to convey different messages. For example, yawning is used not to signal tiredness, but to display canines as a form of intimidation. Their vibrant colors also serve communicative purposes, with facial coloration changing in intensity depending on the individual's emotional state. Number 10. Debrazza's Monkey Debrazza's Monkey, named after the Italian explorer Pietro Savornian de Brazza, is a reclusive species found in the swamps, bamboo, and dry mountain forests of Central Africa. Its distinctive appearance, featuring a white beard and an orange crown, gives it a sage-like demeanor that belies its elusive nature. These monkeys are experts at camouflage, their agouti-colored fur blending seamlessly with their woodland habitats, making them difficult to spot even for seasoned observers. Their diet mainly consists of fruits, leaves, and insects, but they can also eat small vertebrates when the opportunity arises. Debrazza's monkeys are highly adaptable and can live in a variety of forested habitats, from swamps to mountainous regions. Their cheek pouches, similar to those of other Old World monkeys, allow them to store food for later consumption, an adaptation that enables them to forage more efficiently. Socially, these monkeys live in small family units led by a dominant male, who fiercely protects his territory and his group, which usually consists of one or two females and their offspring. 
Despite their seemingly peaceful disposition, males can become quite aggressive when their family unit is threatened. The species is known for its strong parental care, with both parents involved in grooming and feeding the young. Although they are not particularly vocal, Debratza's monkeys communicate through a series of complex facial expressions and body postures. Their large, expressive eyes are thought to play a role in silent communication, particularly in the dense forests where vocal signals might not be as effective. Number 11. Saki Monkey The Saki Monkey, native to the tropical forests of South America, is a unique New World primate known for its thick fur and bushy tail. Males and females often differ dramatically in coloration, a phenomenon known as sexual dimorphism. They have strong jaws and specialized teeth that allow them to crack open hard-shelled fruits and nuts, a primary component of their diet. These monkeys are arboreal, spending most of their time high in the trees where they skillfully navigate the canopy in search of food. They are known to be monogamous, a rarity among primates, and often form lifelong pair bonds. These pairs or small family groups occupy large territories, marking their boundaries with scent markings and vocalizations. Saki monkeys are relatively quiet but communicate through a range of subtle vocalizations, facial expressions, and body movements. They have a variety of calls that serve different purposes, such as alerting to danger or signaling the discovery of a food source. Their social interactions, though not as complex as some other primates, are built on strong pair bonds and family ties, making them an interesting subject for studies on primate social systems. Although Saki monkeys are well adapted to their environment, they face threats from habitat destruction and hunting. The expansion of agriculture and logging activities has led to a loss of their natural habitat, pushing them into increasingly fragmented areas. However, they are somewhat resilient and can adapt to secondary forests, providing some hope for their long-term survival. Number 12. Uakari the Uakari is a peculiar primate found in the Amazon basin, particularly distinctive for its bald, bright red face, which stands in sharp contrast to its fur-covered body. This striking coloration is actually an indicator of health and is thought to play a role in mate selection. Healthier, more vibrant individuals are preferred, thus influencing the gene pool in favor of these traits. Uakaris are arboreal, and are supremely adapted for life in the flooded forests of the Amazon. Their diet mainly consists of fruits, but they also consume leaves, insects, and small animals. Their strong jaws enable them to crack open hard-shelled fruits, a vital capability given the toughness of many Amazonian plant species. Their semi-prehensile tails provide balance, but are not used for grasping, unlike those of some other New World monkeys. Socially, Uakaris live in large groups that can number in the hundreds. These groups are subdivided into smaller units, usually made up of closely related females and their offspring, along with a few adult males. Their social structure is complex, featuring a hierarchy that is based largely on age and experience rather than physical strength alone. Although Uakaris are not particularly vocal, they use a range of facial expressions and body postures to communicate. Their large, expressive eyes are thought to be especially important for social interaction, particularly in the dim light of the forest understory. Number 13. Tarsier The Tarsier is an enigmatic primate native to Southeast Asia, instantly recognizable for its enormous, saucer-like eyes, which are among the largest, proportionally, of any mammal. These eyes enable them to see in almost complete darkness, a crucial adaptation for their nocturnal lifestyle. They are primarily insectivorous, but will also consume small vertebrates. Tarsiers are unique among primates for their incredible jumping ability. They can leap up to 40 times their own body length thanks to their powerful hind limbs. This agility makes them formidable predators of insects and small animals, despite their diminutive size. Socially, Tarsiers are generally solitary or live in small family groups. They are territorial and mark their space with scent glands located near their mouths and stomachs. These markings serve to communicate social status and ownership, reducing conflicts among neighboring tarsiers. Communication among tarsiers is primarily vocal. 
They emit a variety of calls for different purposes, from attracting mates to warning of predators. Their vocalizations can be quite loud and are sometimes described as resembling those of a bird more than a mammal. Number 14. Duke Langur The Duke Langur, native to Southeast Asia, is an arboreal wonder that boasts a mesmerizing combination of colors, from its gray body to its white face and a splash of red or black on its legs. But its captivating appearance is not its only claim to fame. Duke Langur are also known for their peaceful and social natures. They primarily reside in the upper canopy of both deciduous and evergreen forests, where they feed mainly on leaves, fruits, and flowers. Duke Langurs live in multi-male, multi-female groups, often containing 10 to 50 individuals. Within these groups, both males and females have their own hierarchies, usually based on age and experience. One of the most intriguing aspects of their social life is the apparent lack of aggressive behaviors commonly seen in other primate species. Instead, they often engage in affiliative behaviors like grooming to strengthen social bonds. Communication among Duke Langurs involves a mixture of vocalizations, facial expressions, and body postures. They have specific calls for different situations, such as alerting the group to the presence of a predator or signaling that a new food source has been found. Their large, expressive eyes also play a role in silent communication, particularly when it comes to reinforcing social bonds or asserting dominance. Number 15. Howler Monkey Howler monkeys, native to the forests of South and Central America, get their name from their vocalizations, which can be heard up to three miles away. This extraordinary ability to project their voices is due to a specialized, enlarged hyoid bone near their vocal cords. Primarily folivorous, howler monkeys also eat fruits, flowers, and nuts, depending on the availability. Socially, they live in groups ranging from a few individuals to over a dozen, usually comprising one dominant male, multiple females, and their offspring. The dominant male is responsible for most of the howling, which serves to demarcate territory and warn other males to keep their distance. The howls also serve to strengthen group cohesion. Despite their loud vocalizations, howler monkeys are relatively lethargic creatures, spending much of their day resting in the trees. This sedentary lifestyle is thought to be a result of their leaf-heavy diet, which provides fewer calories than fruits or other foods.